Hi everyone, it's Liam here from liamtrump.com. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to first create a PayPal button in the new 2014 dashboard and then also how to edit that button thereafter. So first up, I want to create a new PayPal button and I'm just going to create a dummy one. So I go to up to here to Tools, I click Tools, Payment Buttons, click Create a Button, and it takes you through to the Saved buttons here. So we'll come back to this later. But for the first off, I want to create a new one. So on the right hand side, click Create New Button. This button's going to be a very simple Buy Now button. We'll just call it test button. We'll leave the item ID out for this case because we're going to keep it nice and simple. Price, we'll just make £1. We're not going to add any drop down menus with the price options or without the prices or add any text fields in here. And there's going to be zero postage and packaging, so we'll just add a zero in there. For this, I want to use my secure merchant account ID. I'd recommend that you use that. And I'm not going to use any of the inventory profit and loss or the customized advanced features. This is a very basic tutorial for this. Chris, create create button. The next step is to take the code, so all we can do is press select code and then right click, press copy and then while we do it, go over to the WordPress page. I've got a test page set up here just to show you. I want to go over to the text tab, click that open and then right click and paste where I want to add it. So it just be simple in there. Then click Publish to make sure the changes have been made, or it could be Update if the page is already live, like that. And then we'll right-click View Page. There it is, and we'll just test that it works. So it should take us through to the PayPal page and show us ten pound test button and people can add in their email and password here. Okay, so that's there. The second thing I want to show you is how to, now we've got the button, what we want to do in order to edit that button in the future. So say you had a trial price of £10, the product was successful, and then you want to up it to £15. So rather than creating a new button, what we can do, is I'll show you if we go back to scratch, is again, I'll have to log in here. I'll just blur this one out so you can't see that. <laughs> so I'll have to log back in. Go back to Tools. Click Tools. Click Payment Buttons. Create a button. And it will direct us through to this Saved Buttons area. So this is all the buttons that I've created. And you can see there at the top, Test Button. Go across to Action. Click Down. What we can do now is edit button. We want to change the price from say one pound to ten pounds, so I'll add a zero in there. And simply all I need to do is click save changes. And there's no need for me to add this code in once again. I can prove it if we go back to test page, open this up again. So make sure if you haven't done so already, you've refreshed the page so it make sure it's updated with the new data. Click the button again. And it will take us through to the payment ban. And you can see now it's £10 rather than £1. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video. If you have, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more great WordPress tutorials and much, much more. Thank you very much.